Wouldn't you love to know how many kilometers climate warrior Liberal MP Catherine McKenna racked up in her ministerial limo after becoming infrastructure minister? Yeah, me too, but the government won't tell us. Today I'll show you their response to my request for those records. party opposite you're worried about that uh, you're worried about costs you should be worried about the cost that we are passing on to our kids the cost of climate change yeah. we have got an emergency here and the party opposite is not telling the truth to canadians we are paying we've gone from 400 billion dollars a year to over 2 billion to 400 million to 2 billion because of the cost of climate change why don't they step up why don't they step up for climate action why don't step up for the economy the future and stop misleading canadians so that unhinged gal is the former environment minister, Catherine McKenna. I can't even get to the meat of what she was trying to scold us about because of all the uncontrolled shrieking. My takeaway is that she is super serious about climate change. It's a deadly emergency or something. McKenna is the infrastructure minister now, bringing her weird, insufferable brand of ecofeminism to overpass building and port construction because... What could possibly go wrong there? Anyway, I wanted to know if McKenna is as serious about her own climate change combating lifestyle choices as she has been yelling that Canadians should be. We asked the infrastructure ministry to provide copies of the logs of the official vehicle used to transport the minister since November 20th, 2019. Now, I'll tell you the government's response in just a minute, but let me go back a little to give you some of the context about the behavior of some of the Liberal ministers when it comes to their own taxpayer-funded carbon emissions. They are, predictably, not practicing what they preach. We know that despite her preening about the rest of us making so-called better choices to use fewer fossil fuels, for the first two years of her job as environment minister, while she was crafting a tax to tax our SUVs to discourage us from using them, Catherine McKenna was rolling around in a taxpayer-funded Subaru Crosstrek. McKenna eventually had the taxpayer pay for her new Prius, but she was in no hurry to change her ways despite her so-called climate emergency out there just waiting to kill us all. My colleague Kian Bexty confronted McKenna about her driving habits. Just watch. Did you see the rebel investigation into your uh, into your driving habits? We found that you actually burned 6,000 liters of fuel in just a few years. Why is your fuel usage more important than moms and dads driving their kids to soccer? So once again, it's great to see rebel news here because I'm always hoping that you will learn things about the uh, environment and climate change. Unfortunately, you've been putting out a lot of things that are not true. Just, just and, answer the question. And though. you also called me climate Barbie. And I'm all about what I hear at the doors and knocking on doors. People want us to tackle plastic pollution. So the 6,000 liters of fuel, though, that's the question I was asking about. You burn 6,000 liters of fuel. Why is your fuel usage more important? Than everyday Canadians. Everyone is figuring out how we uh, how we reduce our emissions. I actually have a hybrid vehicle, and for the campaign, I have an electric vehicle. How'd you get here? I drove Great. because I'm not a hypocrite. And me being suspicious of all government all the time, I wanted to know if the way the Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland uses her limo is a practice that is now infesting the whole of government. By examining Christian Freeland's taxpayer-funded limo kilometer logs and her official flight schedules and then matching the dates up. I found that Christia Freeland has been sending her empty limousine around to cities that she's been flying to, all while touting a low-carbon lifestyle of bike riding to work. It was all so brazen, so I wanted to check on McKenna. She makes many of the same claims about bike riding as Freeland does, and we already know she wasn't living her best low-carbon life with that Subaru Crosstrek. But I can't check to see if McKenna is also sending her limo ahead to destinations like Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa, just like Freeland was, to pick her up and cart her around like a rock star when she waltzes off a flight before sending the limo back home empty. Because the government hasn't tracked, or more likely, won't turn those records over to me. Look at this. After a thorough search, no records were found concerning this request, 
as the minister's driver has not maintained a log for the usage of the executive vehicle. Now, I'm very skeptical of this excuse. Why? Because it is absolutely the normal practice of the government to keep these mileage logs. They're used for vehicle maintenance. And that's how I got the logs for Freeland the first time around. I know the government keeps this stuff. And wouldn't a minister like McKenna, so concerned with the driving habits of regular Canadians, be keeping a closer eye on her own if she actually cared about these sorts of things? Friends, I'm going to keep digging, but it's definitely fascinating after one bombshell exclusive investigation into the vehicle habits of another high-profile minister, suddenly the government doesn't keep these records anymore? Very strange. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreed. If you like this video, and come on, I know you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell to get notified when we publish a video. And while you're at it, why not head over to rebelnews.com and sign up for Rebel News Plus, where you can get access to all of our full-length content, including my own Wednesday night show, The Gun Show. That website, again, is rebelnews.com.